In a recent uh, teleseminar, I recall you saying that a low-carb, high-fat diet is dangerous for children, and rather you promote a low-carb, high-protein diet. Can, right. can you elaborate it's, regarding why it is dangerous? Does the same apply to adults? And how do you determine the threshold between the two? Okay, so they're really fine-tuning, it sounds like. Well, I think we've discussed this on a prior video. Yep. Um, I have seen parents totally eliminate protein from their diets, from the, their children's diets. Mm -hmm. I've seen children who stopped growing. In fact, that mother that I was telling you about previously, um, who called me only when she had trouble, uh, one of the times she called me was when uh, she took a kid to the pediatrician and they said he had stopped growing even though his blood sugars were good. Uh, and I say, what's he's eating? And he, she had t taken away all protein. What was you know, the, the uh, attempt was to... Uh, I'm surprised he was alive. But the attempt was to remove the need for insulin and, and minimize insulin? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. She had discovered that uh, she had to cover protein with insulin. Now, he was already getting uh, insulin, but uh, uh, the more protein you eat, the more insulin you need. Yeah. Not a, you know, gram for gram carbohydrate requires more insulin but protein requires insulin too. And, you need, and every cell in your body needs protein. Uh, so, and I get these reports. Uh, I've, seen new, I've seen new patients. Family comes in with a kid and uh, we read your book and uh, we put them on a uh, high fat, high carbohydrate, no protein diet and he's not growing. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't say that in the book. In fact, um, I've been accused of saying the opposite, which I find hard to believe. Uh, maybe I did say it, unlimited protein, and that's not true either. Um, uh, we all need protein, and... Uh, there are ways of calculating in theory how much you need if you're an adult. But if you're a kid, uh, it's much more difficult because if you're growing, yeah. you may need a lot more protein than an adult needs. Yeah. And so it's complicated. Oh, my, my son is eating like a, uh, you know, he's approaching puberty. He's about tw uh, 12 years old. He's eating uh, so much food, but we watch his growth chart. His growth chart before type 1 was 80% height and 50% weight. When he went into DKA, he fell off his growth chart. We fought for six months to a year to get him back on his growth chart. And we tested him the other day, he's 80% and 50%. So that means to me, he's eating the right amount of protein. Is that a good way to go? That's, that's one way to go. Okay. There's another way that I use, which is, do they feel too full? You know, uh, I... Uh, with a growing kid, you may want to give them as much as you can that they can tolerate. Mm -hmm. You don't want to overload them so that they're uncomfortable mm -hmm. uh, and so that one day they'll eat the whole meal and the next day they won't. Uh, so I uh, start off with my... I, and I negotiate with the kids. They come with their parents, and if they're old enough to negotiate the meal, I ask them, how much can you handle? And then they go home, and for one meal, they'll say, I'm too full at breakfast, you have to cut it down. And at dinner, I'm not getting enough, so you have to raise it. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you keep playing it by ear based upon how they feel about it. Because uh, usually, kids eat what they need. Right. Sort of makes sense. Right. 